Hey guys, what's up? It's Born Brawler welcoming you back to day 26 of the Pokemon TCG Pocket Journey, completely free to play. So one of the Pokemon that I know I haven't really talked about much so far is Eevee. And I know pretty much everybody has their favorite Eevee Lucian, so I figured I'd share with you uh, a couple select cards that I have right here. <laughs> So uh, I reused the insert that was from the Mew 151 collection to include these. Of course, I would still have them on this side of me, kind of just rotate through them in my figure. So the one on each side is actually from the premium collection that came out during Evolving Skies. Um, for me, it was extremely hard to find, and these cards in particular are very memorable because they were gifted to me, basically. Um, just having very generous friends who were looking out for me, especially when I was really desperate to try and go after these. And then uh, the middle one, Flareon, was just, oh, I'm pretty sure it was just one I pulled from Valiant Stars, but I was still so incredibly happy when I did. Um, Flareon is not only my favorite Eeveelution, but is probably in my top three, like favorite Kanto Pokemon. Um, I know Flareon is not particularly good in the games or competitively, but I just, it's so cute. I, I can't get over it, but. Of course, we got our cards to get into for the day in Pokemon TCG Pocket. Open a booster pack, of course, gonna be Mewtwo. Gonna slide over here, slice this one open. Got Psyduck, Sandslash, Bulbasaur, Eevee, and Cloyster. Cloyster brand new to us. I think we actually have a uh, couple of Shelder right now. It's not too bad of a Pokemon to, to see. Then we're gonna back up. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Charizard pack and you'll also see that I do have to use some Hourglasses here. It is back to the weekend. And so there's just a little bit of time I want to go ahead and speed up here. Um, just so that way we can gotta get back on our normal schedule. Let's, uh, let's go just right next to it right here. Got Slowbro, Hitmonchan, Skiddo, Ponyard, and Frogadier. So still getting some new cards from each of these packs, just nothing super phenomenal. But that's okay all the same. Okay, we'll return back to the home and then we'll look at our Wonder Pick. If you only have one here, we may have to uh, recharge just a teensy bit, just if there's something that we're really looking for. Nothing at the moment really catching my eye. That Dragonite, of course, super duper cool. Pidgeot, also a really cool one. Alakazam, oh my god. <laughs> oh, this one looks so good. It has, a, it has three Pokemon we don't have already in the inclusion. We're not including the Alakazam. Whoa, man. You can see the pincer, but we actually managed to pull that the other day. You know, I, I think I've got to let Greed take over here. I don't think there's a question to it. So we are going to recover stamina. We are going to have quite a few hourglasses to use here. We got 14. Granted, we've been uh, getting one each day. So, you know, of all of the things in including to getting the missions done. We've actually been getting these pretty fast. All right, so not the Alakazam, but Palawirl. Palawirl? Poliwirl. Lord of mercy. There's a brand new card to be added to our collection. Let's swipe that up. All right, how close or how far away was I? Well, I guess I pretty much went the center, so give it a mount. Gotcha. Okay, well, thank you, Salem, for at least giving me an attempt. Go ahead and go to the shop and then get our free stuff for the day. Make up for some of those hourglasses we spent. And you know, the hourglasses here, I mean, you can technically use your shop tickets to, to get these. So um, not really anything that's like too out of the way, and especially just for like these promos and stuff. Once you've collected most everything you want, I mean, I guess that's really what these are for. Um, you do have the accessories as well, but these uh, require the premium tickets. Speaking of which, we've got our missions here. We can go ahead and complete those. Claim our hourglasses. And then we actually do have a gift up here. Ah, oh, these are from our battles yesterday. Thank you, thank you. I should have done the claim all, but... I'm too impatient, wouldn't you believe? Too impatient to click on the things that are less convenient. 
So I think we are going to have kind of another, not boring, but slow day here. Boring is a little, coming on a little strong, but I think we're going to actually try and go in order and take care of all of these master ones. And so for these expert solo battles, I think we're just going to start with the ones that we have the least number uh, accomplished and then move up from there. The champ here has got the lowest and it is asking us to use a lightning type deck. Uh, we can try out this grass deck. I'm not sure really how it's gonna perform but even if we can get just one of these missions done like the one for the uh i think it's just not getting any of our pokemon KO'd. that'd still be good so going first not huge on that I guess I should have put Luligan out first. I'm not, I don't know. Well, we have more than enough basic Pokemon to put on our bench here. If we saw Execute, we'd uh, be in a pretty solid situation, I'd like to think. I think we may just have to let this cottony go down. And a red card here as well. I kind of doubt that they have anything super great there, but at the same time, I would rather them just have the smaller hand. See, so Pokeball and Professor's Research. Okay, yeah, that was uh, not very good. And they have Machoke, so we are fighting very behind right now. Well, we found that XP that would have been really great to see <laughs> earlier. Go ahead and attach the energy here to the pet low. Thank oh, I was gonna say thankfully we don't see the um Good. thankfully we didn't see the Machamp EX, but I guess he got a little too scared. Rooms a cut, that's good. Gonna use the leaf supply here and attach to the cottony. And we finally see Machamp EX. Not seeing Execute or Executor this is not good. I mean, even actually, one of the better ones we might have seen is this other Lilligant, just so that way we would have had another healthy Pokemon to soak some damage. Mm, we've got this Professor's Research, but it's a little too late here. We've already filled out our bench. I'm going to retreat and put in Farfetch'd. Oh. Again, I really don't see a win condition here. Um, if I Sabrina, you know, I can get the Hitmonchan. But Machamp EX is just so big at this point. We would need to see um, Executor EX come here just to live a single attack. And basically stall. <laughs> Yep, that's not going to do it. Yeah, we've already used both Professor's Research, so he's in there. Just one of those last two cards is all. We will go ahead and use the Sabrina. And 
And all they have to do here, honestly, is just attach to the Hitmonchan and then retreat. And then they win. Okay, well, yeah, they have XP, too. Yep. Well, uh, what I expected. Oh, God. Yeah, just the master AI getting through a little bit too fast. And that red card somehow end up putting me in a worse situation. <laughs> Ugh. Good to get ourselves a little bit closer to that. We'll try to make another attempt here. Farfetch is an okay Pokemon to see here in the beginning. We also have a crap ton of resources to get us here super early on, which is amazing. Execute pretty much one of the best Pokemon that we could see here. Okay, um, we are definitely in a immaculate position right now. Would have been a little bit better if we went second, but even then, I don't think I can complain much about the position we're in right now. Just go ahead and put those evolutions on. There's no real reason for me to wait. So we're probably going to see the Machop evolve here after Imagine. Yeah. So we'll get the KO on Farfetch'd. It's a little unfortunate, but good thing is Executor can come in here and then threaten the KO. Do you see Cottony? Go ahead and use this tropical swing. We do see the head, so yeah, that's gonna put them pretty far behind. I'd say about the biggest weakness of uh, the biggest weakness of Machamp EX is that he is a stage two EX. So just like with Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, they all have you know pretty decent ability to. Uh, run through your opponent, but it's just if you get stopped halfway through, that's just about all she wrote. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to Sabrina here. The reason why this is important is we want to get rid of this Cubone before we see Marowak EX. And no matter what, we are going to get a KO. Because of weakness. Although getting a Getting ahead there definitely does not hurt. So I think at this point, yeah, we are pretty much in game set. About the only thing they could do is uh, do a little stalling if um, Hitmonchan happens to dodge uh, heads from Executor here. don't know that I want to red card. I honestly don't even know if it's worth putting Scyther down. I think we're just going to drop a swing. And that'll be it. So again, didn't get the mission done for beating the opponent without losing a Pokemon. Because we had to sacrifice Farfetch a little bit earlier there. But, all things considered... Good game. We did get the win by turn 12, and are working towards the points. And we'll go ahead and do it one more time. Last episode, I did just want to mix it up a little bit, going up against uh, trainers that were online. One, because, you know, it gives you a little bit more insight as to what you might be fighting here in the early stages of the game. And two, um... It is actually, you know, useful to get wins there. You do get EXP. But uh, the reason, you know, why I'm doing all of this, which, by the way, again, another freaking banger hand. Um, 
the reason why I'm focusing so hard on this is because I'm trying to give you an idea of what all you can get done in a day, you know, with pretty little commitment. Still have to do a, a tab to get us going. Oh my god, okay. This might have us winning the game. Well, not winning the game, but this is definitely going to have us very far ahead here, right at the beginning. I want to use the X speed here, but I think it would be foolish to. Yeah, we're just going to pass turn. See, those are the turns you want to see. You want to see very early on you getting Pokeball and Professor's Research, which it looks like our opponent is seeing his one fair share. Ooh, red card is fantastic here, though. We are forcing them to basically put all those Pokemon that they found back in the deck. Or likely the Pokemon that they found. So before we do evolve with Lilligan, we're going to retreat Pat Lil. Still has a one retreat cost, but feels better to do it in this order. Put an Executor EX. Very low commitment EX. All you gotta do is put one on there. And so we get tail, so not finishing on what was this turn three? <laughs> but uh still in an incredibly good position here. Really could not ask for anything better. Go for tropical swing, we're going to get this KO no matter what. Now, the one scary thing that could come through here is Cubone could evolve into Marowak EX, already be ready with an energy, and then hit two heads, which would be so tragic. We shall see. Nope, Cubone just using normal Growl. So it does have the chance of living or attack this turn, I believe. So we are forced to get a heads here. Yeah, it's okay to put that on the ligand. Mm, okay. Again, that puts puts a little pressure on me because we're not getting through these Pokemon super fast, but again, having Xator EX this early anyways is already super duper good. Can't complain much about our start here at the very beginning. Alright, Executor, I need to see this heads. There we go. So yes, our opponent must have Marowak EX at this point, I think, to even risk it getting a single point on us. Do they find it? It does not look like it. Again, I don't know what missions we really have to do, but I want to go ahead and use everything we've got for those trophies in case they're accumulating any points there. And no matter what, this Executor wouldn't even have needed the heads. We'll still get the KO. Yeah, definitely MVP for that one. No questions about that. Still played out 11 turns. So we are just a little bit further there on the Machamp and Marowak EX one. Um, I think that will be it for the day, I know. Again, just a little bit slower in the terms of battles. Nothing too fancy going on, but still did want to show all that off. So that way we can get uh, as many of those tickets as we can before the 30 days is up. Just to kind of give you all an idea of what you could get on average, um, you know, just with about 20 to 30 minutes a day. But in any case, that should be it for me. Thank you guys so very much for watching once again. Hopefully you're looking forward to the next episode should be day 27. And until then, I will see you all next time. Hopefully you're having a fantastic night or day wherever you may be. And I'll catch y'all later. See ya!